So I just made it to Hummelstown. Uh, it's been months since I've been here. I normally uh, came up here like every couple weeks at least, but I haven't really felt like driving uh, this far up north recently. So I'm sure there's a lot of new vendors. I've already kind of like gone overboard at Bedford Street. I was not expecting to find that much stuff, but I'm excited to see what's new. I love when it's been a long time since I've been somewhere. picked these up in a while uh but it's two for three dollars so i'm gonna go ahead and get those and then of course the little bunny it's only two dollars and fifty cents i am gonna check out this chalkware santa it's chalkware and flocked and in great condition for six dollars so i'm gonna get this too but i really need a basket all right i'm really confused by how many people are here because it's a monday afternoon uh, I really like this ornate tissue box holder. It's only $8, but these napkin holders too. It's kind of cool. I already kind of see myself getting carried away. This one's pretty different. I'm gonna get this one for sure. Uh, I'm gonna think about this one. All right, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, first, this porcelain doll with the leather body, $14. It's definitely a good price. It's got some wear. What is this? Interesting. Very strange. Is this the original box? Oh. Yeah, that is very cool. Let me uh, clean this up a little bit. I was actually gonna go for this Penny Bright doll. She's missing her shoes though. This is still very cool. I can't, I'm not sure how to feel about that. I'm gonna keep looking. I only gotten like one booth in. Little troll thing. <laughs> All right, well, this room always has really great stuff. I love these milk glass bottles. $24 each though. I don't think I'm gonna get much more out of that. Yeah, there's just like so much stuff to take in here. Let's see. A lot of stuff I really like, but nothing that's like really jumping out at me yet. A little farmer girl, that's cute. This box is different. Oh, wow, that's like shockingly heavy. Hmm. This is a fun color. How much are you? I'm doing too much. $10. Uh, that's pretty close to what I get for those after fees. We use a little bit of room. Oh my gosh, look at the little suitcases. How cute. Love those. Okay, the seashell stuff doesn't usually sell that well, but these are too weird not to. I love the hand painting on them. Let's see, let's get the other one out. For $6, I kind of feel obligated to take these. I hope I'm not, I hope I'm eating my words. That's seashell stuff. See? tongue-tied sea salt <laughs> this kind of thing doesn't usually sell but I've never seen this exact version I'm gonna stop trying to say the word seashell all right moving on we got the bread loaves we like bread loaves ten dollars though oh I'm like not even pointing my camera in the right direction I've got like total OCD crazy not OCD see I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore <laughs> oh what are these? Vintage tea bag holders. $5. Oh, it's $5 each. Dang. I really can't get over how busy it is in here, but I can't pick it up because it's too pricey for resale. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This pink opalescent is like my favorite. Uh, that's nice, but it's this 
that kind of caught my eye. Never seen that ombre effect like that. I could not help but notice this half doll. Uh, it's definitely reproduction though. Thought it was ceramic, it's resin. Oh wow, look at this beaded uh, candy box. Definitely looks new, how new? Very new, dang, that's a shame. Um, I always pick up the old candy boxes, especially if they're fabric covered, they sell like crazy. I got really excited when I saw that little Valentine's Day pose doll, but unfortunately she's $36, so definitely uh, can't do anything with that. She is so cute though, she's in like great condition. All right, let's see. I noticed the washing machine salt and pepper shakers. They've got a pretty decent amount of paint loss though. Uh, these used to come free when you bought a washer dryer, which I think is so funny. These are pretty sweet too. It's a really good price, it's a unique set. Got a couple hobbyist pieces here. Of course, the scrub brush holder, $10. I think I'm gonna pass on that. What is going on with the mushroom though? Shroom shaker, <laughs> that's quite fun. $10, I could probably eke out a couple bucks, uh, but not enough to get excited about. What is this? Is this a candle? It's just like a, just a thing. I can't, can't tell how old that is. I think it's on the newer side. It could be mistaken. This might be newer too. I want to get a better look at it though. Yeah, it's very unusual shape. That's so cool. Tempted to get it even though it's new. It's got a little hairline though. I think that's uh, one thing too many there. Oh my gosh, this vase is beautiful. Oh, I love the yellow color too. It's amazing, $25. I, oh, I don't think I'd be able to get much more out of that. I think it's so pretty. a shame I would even if it was like maybe 20 I'd pick it up just to have it on like my kitchen table until it's sold oh my gosh this is all new and there's like a million things happening all right well first stop what an insane find I've never even seen one like this before Oh, wow, I, and it squeaks. I do wanna know if it has a maker on it and I'm just missing it. This looks like Knickerbocker, but I don't think it is. All right, well, I'm gonna investigate that when I get home. I'm definitely gonna, oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, sold. Um, these types of bunnies usually sell well and I've never seen this size. So sweet. Um, I'm definitely gonna do a shopping recap video where I unpack all my stuff like I did that one time at Northgate. Cause this has gotten very out of hand very quickly. But this one, oh my gosh, and it's vinyl. Oh my gosh, it's all oil cloth. That is amazing. I've never seen one like this, especially in this good condition. $8 as is. Uh, it's got a little tear on the skirt, um, so it's not perfect, but even for $8, I really don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and get this too. Okay, so I had to take a break and sit on the floor because we all know I'm a floor sitter by nature. Um, they do have another one of these rabbits. It's only $10, so I'm gonna grab this one too. And I might have accidentally shown a sneak peek of this when I walked in. Don't worry, I already grabbed it. It's one of the ones made in Japan. I usually see them just as a skunk. I've never seen this one with like the bunny ears. I'm gonna clean him up a little bit. I think he's absolutely freaking adorable. But then they also have this one. This one is super unique. $10, uh, he is definitely coming with me. I've never seen one quite like this. I've seen other ones and they usually sell for good money. They're super hard to find. 
I love the wear on him. Now, normally I'm like, oh, gross, the stuffed animal's all janky, but he's just kind of been loved and had a long life, so we're gonna grab him. I'm like very carefully looking around this booth now. Uh, this guy is pretty funny. $125, there's nothing funny about that. Let's see what else they got. This is new. Mm, looks like all the other stuff is new too. Man, I just got super lucky. So I'm definitely gonna make money off of this uh, day. I've spent a lot, I've spent over $250 so far. This is really pretty though. It's only $20. Um, these are kind of hit or miss for me. I don't, don't normally pick them up because they're pricey, but this one's only 20 bucks. Um, I kind of feel like it's weird not to get it. I'm going to finish my lap here though uh, on this level. This place is three floors. <laughs>